people hear that I'm not using insecticides, so they think I'm not managing my aphid, and that's not true. I am managing my aphid population just like they are, but I'm taking a different approach to it. I'm managing the aphid population by creating diversity in plants and diversity in insects to keep that aphid population in check. So Andrew Hauser uh, at Colorado State University, we've got their research centers just about five miles from here. He was really intrigued by this. He's actually now our manager for potato certification, but he just wanted to see if there was, if he could put some hard numbers behind what I was doing. And he set up some plots and he just had one plot where they just let it go, no control whatsoever. They had one that was controlled traditionally with insecticides and they had one where they had the flowering strips around it. And at the end of it, he found that there was really no statistical difference between the use of the insecticides and using the flowers. I am managing my aphid population, but I'm just choosing not to go out there and trying to kill them. Because once you go out there and try to kill the aphid off with these insecticides, you may be able to kill some of them off, but you're gonna kill off some beneficials too. So if you have a monoculture potato crop out there, you just killed off the aphid and the beneficial, which one's gonna come back first? <laughs> it's gonna be the aphid, because they can feed off of the potato crop. The beneficials don't feed off the potato crop because that would make them a pest. So once you go down that path of using the insecticides, now you're kind of hooked. You killed everything off. Now you actually created an environment to where you're actually even more vulnerable to an epidemic now. So now you have to keep coming in back with that same approach. So I, I am still concerned about aphid. I still monitor them. I keep an eye on them. And at the end of the day, if I'm still able to produce seed that are meeting these tolerances, then I know I am managing my aphid. And that's what's really the best indicator for me that my approach is working.